this we do not meet quorum for this meeting is that correct yeah. what i have to say yeah. okay so this will be an informational meeting this is not i cannot open the meeting to the energy committee <laughs> um so per the agenda um like i was telling you the municipal aggregation program we're at 23 cents um, starting in November that's a year-long contract so from this November to November of 2023 it'll be that rate of 23 8 22 um, the notifications are going to be sent out in the coming weeks like I said we wanted to wait for national grids winter rate just so people can make an informational decision and be informed um, on whether they want to stay with National Grid, enroll in the program, or vice versa if they already were enrolled. Just to have all the information on those postcards before we send them out. Um, and you're expecting that to come in around 26? Yes. Yep, that was um, from Colonial Energy on August 24th. That's what they were projecting. National Grid's rate to be was 26.5 for the winter. So, I mean, that's projection. I have, I don't know until right. about this week what their actual rate will be. Um, yeah, the EV charging station. There's, they did a little bit of site work outside. Um, not much, it's just a little paved square a concrete square and the place where the charging station is going to be it is on the unit itself is on back order mm -hmm. uh, because of supply chain issues so just waiting for it to come in and then they'll install it from there uh, everything's supposed to be done by the end of the year but oh, but um you know Time will tell. Time will tell, yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't okay. come in for a couple weeks, then we might be a little delayed, but that's all right. That's how everything's going right now. Um, electric vehicle status, not much of an update. There is still no ordering going on mm -hmm. until the end of the calendar year. So no new ordering of vehicles at dealerships vendors anywhere like that okay um green communities grant we received approval hundred thousand dollars for the weatherization and an air source heat pump over at the merriam building the contract was effective september 2nd and we are going to get going on that soon um I'm meeting with National Grid, Department of Energy Resources, and the vendor, Guardian Energy Services, on Friday just to discuss utility incentives to save a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. um, and then there is a solar opportunity in New Braintree. Uh, they were looking for a public off-taker. It's a new solar project that they have out there but I'm waiting for reports from our current net metering credit agreement, um, which is with Terraform and that, ut uh, not utility, the solar array itself is located in Rutland. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for them to see if we have the available usage to add more credits to our bills. But. That is, that's my update. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> that's about it. Did you have any questions? Um, no, I, I mean, I'm curious about this, the solar thing, but um, so we're part of a, a an array that we're buying, we've purchased shares in, I assume. And then you, the question is whether we've offset or whether we're collecting as much as we are consuming. I guess, is that the way, way to say it, to offset the difference? Um, so you're wondering whether we have the capacity to yes. draw more? Yes, correct. Okay. So just 
waiting yeah. on that answer yeah. before we can sign up. Yep. That's all that's for all. that's all for my update. All so right. <laughs> all set then. Yes.